и благодарим нашу аудиторию за активный вопрос. And thank you very much, everyone in the audience, for all your questions. We move on. Our next speaker is building the future, literally speaking. Her Excellency, Dr. Aisha bin Bisher, global digital transformation expert and strategic leader in smart city initiatives, implementing blockchain smart contracts and AI in the governance over the biggest city in the UAE. Please welcome on the stage Madam Aisha bin Bisher. Expert in global transformation, leader of strategic initiatives in the area of smart cities. Global digital transformation expert, strategic leader in smart city initiatives, Dr. Aisha bin Bisher. Smart cities, AI in urban development, digital transformation. Good morning, Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, uh, esteemed colleagues and visionaries. It is great to stand before you today uh, to speak about a topic that touched the heart of our aspiration for the future, transforming our cities into more smarter, more uh, sustainable, inclusive environment through artificial intelligence and digital transformation. During my journey leading Smart Dubai, we set out a very bold vision to make Dubai the happiest city on Earth. This leveraging technology as an enabler for human potential. This was not technology-first approach. This was people-first approach, where innovation serves to bridge to better living. And I think you've heard my, my, my colleague, the previous uh, speaker, he emphasized on how to humanize technologies. And today I will share with you insights into how AI and digital transformation can reshape urban development and the importance of human-centric design and how collaboration can help overcome barriers to building the cities of tomorrow. AI is not just a buzzword. It is a backbone for modern urban development. It empowers cities to adapt, evolve, and meet the diverse needs of its citizens. At Smart Dubai, we implemented many AI platforms. One of them is Dubai Now, that consolidate over 130 government services into one app. This is simple yet very profound and transformative step, saved millions of hours for people annually and making their life and every day more convenient. Globally is also Cities are harnessing the AI powers. In Buenos Aires, the chatbot Booty has become a trusted digital uh, companion for, uh, for millions, offering everything from vaccination information to social services. In Singapore also, they optimize public transit and community services through AI power tools. These examples underscore the transformative role of AI Plays in, plays in making cities more responsive, more efficient, and more sustainable. But AI potential doesn't stop there. It can address crit critical urban challenges, like traffic congestion, energy optimization, and predictive maintenance, ensuring cities remain resilient in the face of, urban, of the rapid urbanization. Digital transformation is not just about adopting new technologies. It's about reimagining how our cities operate and serve their people. In Smart Dubai, we recognized that very early, and we recognized that trust was essential for successful digital transformation. The, this led us to uh, uh, issue the artificial intelligence ethical guideline and toolkit, ensuring that innovation aligned with transparency and fairness. Singapore also exp uh, exemplifies how digital transformation enhances urban living. The city-state digital twin, something similar to what you have here in Moscow, is a virtual model of the city, has revolutionized the urban planning by enabling real-time monitoring and simulation. This integration of technology and governance ensures that the policies are both informed and impactful. The impact of digital transformation on citizens is so profound. It connects government, 
businesses and individuals in a very seamless ecosystem, enabling smart policies and services, from personalized healthcare to dynamic public transit system. Te technology today is reshaping urban experiences for the better. And, I, and I'm sure you've seen so many examples downstairs and also with the other speakers, how these technologies are reforming our, how we live our life. While technology can do wonders, it must serve humanity above all else. That's why smart cities must be designed with empathy, inclusive, and sustainability in mind. At Smart Dubai, we prioritize humanizing technology. And I'm sure you've, you've also heard a lot about how we do humanize technology. Our AI assistant in Dubai called Rashid, Rashid simplified the entrepreneurial process, ensuring equal access to opportunities by answering questions, something similar to ChatGPT. In Boston, generative AI is helping citizens visualizing the urban changing, fostering the sense of ownership of their city. These examples remind us that technology's greatest success is its ability to empower people. To build a truly inclusive cities, we must ensure that technology is accessible to everyone. Responsible AI frameworks, like those uh, issued by the World Economic Forum's uh, G20 Global Smart City Alliance, are critical in safeguarding fairness, inclusivity, and transparency. And I'm sure you continue to listen in the last two days about inclusivity, transparency, safeguarding our life through, through, through technology. But there are lots of challenges in doing this, especially for public sector. Despite AI potential, many cities face challenges, such as budget constraints and resource limitation. And many of you here who are city managers can understand that. So according to Bloomberg Philanthropy Survey, only 2% of city, cities globally have begun their generative AI journey, where we think that everyone is using ChatGPT, still many cities are not harnessing the value of such technology. This highlights the gap between aspiration and action. In Smart Dubai, we addressed these challenges through innovative partnership, Collaborating with global tech leaders allows us to imp implement high-impact projects without overburdening the public budgets. The PPP, the Public-Private Partnerships, this is a key enabler for any digital transformation project. For example, Dallas Generative AI-powered autonomous vehicles demonstrated how private innovation can solve public issues and challenges like supply chain, supply chain disruptions and carbon emission. These partnerships provide the expertise and resources necessary to scale any solution effectively. The future of smart cities lies in aligning technology with humanity's most pressing needs, like sustainability, inclusivity, and resilience. Emerging trends like AI-driven urban planning and sustainability material innovation are redefining what is possible. In Amsterdam, generative AI is helping chemists create sustainable materials, tackling global challenges like climate change. Two weeks ago, in Annapolis University, with their AI uh, center, they are doing something similar, similar but yet great solving all these chem chemistry uh, uh, issues and uh, developing and creating sustainable materials through AI. In Singapore, they have embraced more than 100 AI solutions to overcome uh, their challenges and drive uh, their economic growth and ensuring a social well-being. AI at the heart of all these advancements. And at the heart of it, it's a very simple truth. Smart cities are not just about technology. It is about people. They reflect our shared commitment to innovation that uplift every individual living in, uh, living in these cities without leaving anyone behind. As I close, I invite you all here to reflect on this. Smart cities are not, to dis are, are not just a destination, it's the journey. Journeys where technologies meet humanity, where collaboration fosters innovation, 
and where progress is measured by the well-being of every individual in these cities. Let us commit in building cities that are prioritizing people over system, that collab also collaboration over competition, and sustainability over short-term gain. Let us not wait for perfect condition, because there isn't any perfect conditions. Let us act to embrace the possibilities of today to create the cities of tomorrow. Together, we can ensure that AI and digital transformation become forces for good, shaping cities that inspire, empower, and sustain that generation to come. And thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. Aisha bin Bishar, thank you very much for your presentation. And let us check the questions sent by the audience right during your performance. And the first question is, what main challenges arise when implementing AI in urban development? Uh, I do believe it's us as a people to understand the capabilities that AI can bring. This is the main challenge. We need to educate ourselves. How many of you are using AI in their daily life? I asked this question yesterday in front of uh, Mr. President. And I saw many people, they start raising their hand that they started using AI. We need to touch these technologies. So people are the main uh, obstacle in front of uh, introducing any new technologies, whether it is artificial intelligence or blockchain or any other technology. Thank you. And one more question. What are the key takeaways from Dubai's experience with building a smart city, and how can they be applied in other parts of the world, particularly in countries with limited resources? One of the main takeaways from Dubai experience in building a smart city is putting people at the heart of its vision. As I said, our goal was making Dubai the happiest city on Earth. And whenever we talk to any officials that we want the city to be happy through technology, and they will say, what is the equation here? How you'll make people happy by putting more technologies? It's by putting the responsible technologies and choosing the right technologies to solve the right challenges we have it in our city. And how other cities also can follow the step of Dubai is by collaborating with the private sectors and individuals through different uh, tools. One of them, as I said, the partner, uh, the, the public, uh, pu public private partnership, wherein the private sector also can put an effort in overcoming these challenges by uh, whether investing, whether uh, uh, putting more resources in these uh, projects. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Dr. Aisha bin Bishar, I believe that uh, your presentation enriched our program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Applause to the speaker. Мы благодарим нашу аудиторию за потрясающий we would like to once again thank the audience for their questions, for the very interesting questions. Uh, so this concludes the first block of day two of the conference. In the next block, we will talk about the use of AI in governance and in business, the experience of different uh, countries, ethics, healthcare, ESG, and sustainable development. And now a short break. We'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs>